at the Janine Taylor Folk Art Gallery in Sanford, and every nook and cranny is filled with creativity. Joining me now is the owner, Janine Taylor. And Janine, tell us more about what goes on in all of the art that's here. Well, welcome to Sanford, and you're right. We are just filled with art and art activities. Um, we have quite a variety. Um, we have eight working artist studios, and that's called Gallery on First. And so we're both housed in the same building. These are local artists that work here in front of the public. So the public can come in, see the art being made, watch it in its progress, and then come back and purchase it. And it's being shared by emerging artists and established artists. Tell Correct. us the difference between the two. Well, an emerging artist is an artist that feels like their art is marketable but doesn't quite know how to do that. So this is like an incubator. And an emerging artist can come in, work with established artists like Sherry Daco, Jody Bobo, and they can nurture them along in the process. Plus, with my, um, my uh, gallery experience, I can also help them with the marketing. Now, this is a folk art gallery. Yes. Tell us what folk art is. Folk art is art made by self-taught artists, usually visionary in nature. They used found objects. They used to be quite rural and isolated, but the face of folk art is changing because we have the internet, we have um, television, and artists are aware, even self-taught folk artists are aware of what the art world is doing. I do understand, which was very surprising to me, that you're not an artist. You've just been collecting for years. Yes. Tell us how. Well, I, um, I had a I had a degree in education and went on into sales, technology sales, and was selling uh, educational technology to schools. My territory was in uh, the the southern part of Georgia, Alabama, northern Florida, and so when school systems would close up for the day, I would still have a few more hours left. And I just would go exploring and found a wonderful genre of art called contemporary Southern folk art. And you found a place right here in Sanford. They've embraced you and your gallery. Yes, they have, they have. We're quite an anchor. We came in three years ago when Sanford had decided that they were gonna use the arts to economically redevelop the downtown area. So we're thrilled to be here. And it's working. It is working. All righty, thank you so much, Janine. You're welcome. Now you can find out more about Janine Taylor's Folk Art Gallery by logging on to our website. That's just a taste of the Arts Connection. You can catch more great stories like this at the Arts Connection website at wmfe.org slash arts and see new episodes every Thursday night at 8 on WMFE TV. Thanks for watching.